write your name and say, this is my decision, or I need prayers. If you need prayers, indicate that I need prayers. I'm struggling with something that, that has been haunting me for years. I need prayers of deliverance. And that's the reason why we're here, is also to help us uh, uh, experience um, freedom in Christ. Let us pray together. Our kind and loving Father, thank you, Lord, for this morning. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. It's Africa Day, dear God. There are so many challenges besetting Africa, so many of them. Almost all the countries and the states in Africa come, they promise, and then they go down, and our hopes are dashed. There are few that are promising, but it's, it's, there's, there's no light that we can see. But here we are, dear Father, as the sons of Africa, and we know, and I know we've just been assured here, if we allow you to walk with us, not only will we brighten the corners where we are, we will lift up Africa. Because if you lift us up, Lord, there's no way our continent would remain what it is. We need young men and women, Lord, who are committed here in front of me, are men and women who are going to lead this country, other countries where they come from, in many ways, dear Father, but if they can allow you to lead them, to make a big difference. This world, these countries we represent, will look like heaven. They'll be heavenly. Because, dear Father, we are the ones who are leading and there's heaven in our minds. We know our countries are what they are because some of the leaders who lead us are attracted to a place that is opposite heaven and therefore they create hell wherever they are. And may we be those leaders here on earth because we are going to heaven. May it be said that we made this place a better place. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen.